Hi guys, welcome to our third video uh, in the series looking at how to use the BNF. Uh, today we'll continue with our uh, demonstrations of different sections of the BNF and how to use them. Um, and we're focusing on the appendices section, the section at the back of the BNF. Uh, we're going to look at a particular um, appendix which you will be using uh, throughout the year. Uh, and the appendix that we're going to look at today is A3, which is the appendix that deals with cautionary and advisory label um, for products uh, that are listed in the BNF. So when you're actually working as a pharmacist within a pharmacy or when you are working in your dispensing practicals uh, with us at John Moores, uh, you will be dispensing drugs um, and the process of dispensing will all involve you at the end of it uh, or uh, at the start as you choose a uh, producing a label uh, that you'll be sticking eventually on the on the products uh, and it, this label will have different information uh, about the products um, one of the essential information that needs to be on the label is cautionary and advisory information now this cautionary and advisor information is specified within the BNF um, and that's where uh, Appendix A3 uh, comes in because it is within that appendix this information is provided. So I've got my BNF here and we're going to look at how to find this information. So first start, let me show you where Appendix A3 is and that's my BNF there. You can see Appendix A3. And then we're going to look at the specific information within that appendix A3. Um, so at the start of the appendix you have some um, information about how to use the appendix and um, information, general information about advisory and cautionary labels. And then you have uh, a list of the um, actual advisors and, and cautionary information that are provided. Uh, so you can read through those uh, and familiarize yourself with the with the information there and this is followed by a list of um, the products and uh, and their labels so the cautionary advice is numbered uh, and each product has a number next to it which links it to the cautionary advice at the start of the section so if I show you where that information is it's under this section there And then if we look at a specific example, which is etanolol, so if I look in my BNF under uh, the products and the labels, and I can see um, that etanolol is there, and the advice that it should be attached to etanolol on the label is number eight. So I go back and see that number eight is warning do not stop taking this medicine unless your doctor tells you to stop. What that actually means is that when you produce a label for etanolol, this particular piece of advice or cautionary information needs to be on the label. Now what you will find in practice when you're actually working in your dispensing labs, um, that a lot of these information will be available for you on the screen, on your patient information system. However, if this information is not available or you don't like the wording or you want to change, change it slightly, then you can do that on the screen, uh, edit your label and then print. Uh, so this is basically how you use the advisory cautionary information available for you in the BNF. Uh, I hope you find that video useful and um, I'll be seeing you on my next video uh, in the near future. Thank you.